Welcome back, guys. In the last episode, you watched us install the windows in our cargo trailer. And that was a game changer. It made it feel a lot more homey. We're gonna keep that momentum going today and install an RV door handle into our door. That way we have access from the inside and the outside of the trailer. So right now, you only have one option to get inside the trailer, and that's this big latch right here. Unlatch it and you come inside, right? No big deal. But once you're inside, you can't close the door. There's no handle and you can't reach the latch from the outside. So that's why we're putting in this uh... ah. Let me out. Anyways, that's why we decided to put this RV handle in. It's keyless. Uh, you can enter in a passcode to get in or use the key fob or use the key as you normally would but it's gonna be a game changer. It'll allow us to lock, whatever. So this is the RV lock keyless handle and it looks pretty straightforward. Looks like it just has two sides. Uh, this is the outside and this is the inside and I guess we'll just cut a hole and slap it together and we'll be, we'll be, we'll be flipping, flipping deadbolts and, and, and getting all the honeys. What? With our RV lock. No. <laughs> no honey. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so I think the plan is to cut this little tab off right here, and then I'm gonna dremel out this part of the uh, tube steel so that I can get the latch portion of the uh, handle through to get to this flat bar right here. It was a terrible explanation. this little tab cut off so I traced the uh, template on here. I'm gonna drill through the corners so that I can get the jigsaw in and cut around and then hopefully it'll be easier to cut through this tube steel after I get that done. tried to put little holes there but it didn't really help me any so just ignore those So I got the door side assembly on. Uh, it was pretty difficult. The the uh, drill bit kept walking on me, so I had to like, go in a few times, but it doesn't look too bad. So I've run into a slight issue. Everything with this thing is being a pain in the butt. But you see, look at that gap. 
It like doesn't even touch the other side of the door frame. So I'm gonna have to fandangle something here. So I'm gonna take this uh, thick ass piece of steel and I'm gonna make my own striker plate and it's gonna work a lot better. is installed uh, it was kind of hard cutting this little square out uh, where the latch goes in but it wasn't too bad seems to be working fine let's give it a try latches and everything and comes undone uh, the only thing is it's a little tight I think because of the nature of this seal uh, it's gonna just have to be a little bit tight uh, and I'm okay with that because I don't think it will leak so that's always a good thing um, but the only thing uh, that's left, I guess, is to uh, weld in another support so that this back plate right here has something to rest against because um, uh, right now this thing's kind of just loosey-goosey. Check me out, y'all. We got the RV handle. It works. It's nice. Uh, just got these blocks here because uh, we figured whatever we decide to do for the uh, interior wall is probably going to take up this space. So uh, it's working for now, but it's got the deadbolt right there. Um, like I said, it's a little tight, but we have the option to enter in a key code to get in. We have the keys. And then, Kelsey, where's the key fob? And we got the key fob. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh yeah, heck of fancy. I will say this was a pretty difficult um, project for me just because nothing seemed to fit correctly and work correctly the first time around, but I mean, it's, it's a cargo trailer. It wasn't meant to be an RV or meant to be lived in. If you end up getting an interstate cargo trailer, you might have the same difficulties as me. So just try to pay attention to what you order and uh, make sure that everything's measured properly because like I said, these cargo trailers aren't meant to be lived in. So um, the installation process can be kind of difficult. So. With that being said, uh, I think it'll work. I think it'll be good. Thanks for tuning in. So deep in love, oh yeah, with a wonderful girl. The lovely